This man's the leader of the Labor Party. A final media conference from him. One of the final media conferences from him as well. They were almost duelling. They started. He started speaking while the Premier was speaking. He is in Parramatta. Let's listen in. ...make a decision about who governs New South Wales for the next four years. Labor has a positive plan to fix this state with a fresh start. Firstly, by focusing like a laser beam on cost of living issues, specifically by ensuring a $60 toll cap for those that have to use the motorways, $315 rebate for small businesses and a focus on driving down the cost of living with energy prices, particularly with the Energy Security Corporation. Second question facing the people of this state is who's got a plan for essential services, particularly schools and hospitals? Labor has a plan to retain essential workers that we need to keep us safe, to help us when we're sick and to educate our children. Only Labor has articulated a plan to think about essential workers in New South Wales and retain the teachers, paramedics, as well as uh, firefighters and police officers New South Wales needs. And the third question is, which party can be believed and has the credibility to stand up against privatising our essential assets, starting with Sydney Water? If Labor is elected on Saturday, the first legislation we will move through the New South Wales Parliament is to put Sydney Water in the New South Wales Constitution, stopping future governments from enacting a backdoor fire sale of essential assets owned by the people of this state. The current government has been in for 12 years. They're asking for 16 years in power. Their best people have left. Their most experienced ministers have either resigned or are not recontesting this election campaign. This is an opportunity for a fresh start for the people of this state. The team I lead is united disciplined and focused on you, the voters of New South Wales. We believe it's time for a change in New South Wales. I want to make this point. Only a vote for Labor in the lower house in the 93 seats across New South Wales can guarantee an end to the Perrottet government. Not a vote for minor parties, not for the Greens, certainly not for the Coalition. Local late Labor candidates have been, over the last three months, laying out a platform for change in New South Wales, to repair essential services, to invest in teachers, to look after those that can't look after themselves and protect essential assets owned by the people of this state. Finally, I believe we can rebuild our schools and our hospitals and do it all without selling the assets the people of this state need to run businesses to run their families and to get around Sydney and New South Wales. It's time for change in New South Wales. Dominic Perrottet and the Liberals and Nationals have had 12 long years to fix our schools and our hospitals. And the question voters have to ask themselves is, after 12 years in office, if they still haven't fixed the problems facing this state, what makes you think it will change if they're re-elected on Saturday?